What is the difference between an institution and an organization when it comes to institutional economics? And the basic difference here is that an organization has a clear boundary, it has a specific purpose. In general, there's going to be some kind of hierarchical structure or some kind of very official um, way the organization is structured in terms of rules, roles, relationships, enforcement mechanisms, all of those are the components of an institution. But with an organization, there's kind of a clear boundary and purpose. Whereas um, institutions, they just have to meet those uh, criteria. They're the roles, rules, and enforcement mechanisms that make up any setting. And that can be nebulous. Like the institution of marriage is not an organization. The institution of markets generally, where people kind of understand what a supplier is, what a demander is, and the contractual agreement, even if it's implicit, between the supplier and demander. That's an institution, but there's no boundary, there's no particular um, purpose. Uh, like, markets can be used for many different purposes. So organizations include things like a specific school, a specific company like McDonald's, um, a specific club or church like Greenboro Football Club, um, federal, the Federal Trade Commission, that's a regulatory body that's a specific organization with its own internal structure and its own purpose. Um, Amazon is certainly an, uh, an organization and an institution. Like every, every organization is an institution, but not every institution is an organization. So these are some of the institutions that are non-organizations. But we have to keep in mind that institutions can be nested. So you can have the K through 12 system is a huge institution that includes generally how things work in kindergartens and sixth grade schools and all that. It's sort of like people understanding wherever you go in the country, there's going to be a, a similar setup to how these things work. But then underneath that, we've got the district, which is a sub-institution, which might have its own rules and norms that differ from the next district, uh, the neighboring district. And then a particular school, which is certainly an organization, is going to be nested under that. So when we're talking about nested institutions, organizations are almost always going to be nested under some bigger um, institution that sort of structures what is this type of organization. Like, is this a firm? Well, the institution of firm, that's not an organization. It's sort of a general institutional structure. In fact, let me add that. So the institution of firm is something that people generally kind of understand what firms are doing, how they work. So the institution of the firm, that's not an organization, that's more like a concept that structures organizations that are sort of sub-institutions. So you can see with all these, like a specific school is an organization, but the concept of schools and how schools work and how people understand, okay, you show up at a certain time, there's the different roles of student and teacher, there's rules within a school, all of that, the sort of conceptual structure, that's an institution. And yet it's not an organization until you have a specific group of people with a boundary around it and a purpose and all of that. So um, these are sort of conceptual institutions. What is a nonprofit? How does that work? And of course, there's a legal structure that sort of um, sets up the guidelines around nonprofits as a meta, uh, as a meta institution or a meta structure. And then once that meta structure is set out through the law, then you can develop specific organizations under that meta structure. A regulatory body. We kind of all know what regulatory bodies do. But when it comes to the Federal Trade Commission, they have specific working guidelines for their organization with a purpose and a hierarchy and boundaries around what it does. So I do think these terms are actually sometimes used interchangeably. And oftentimes when people talk about institutions, that in their head they have organizations, like specific universities, specific newspapers. But the institutional structure that's the meta structure for that, which is sort of what are the rules of newspapers, what are the rules of ethics that are followed within this 
this meta structure of journalism. Um, that's sort of one layer up or maybe multiple layers up and it matters to some degree how well these meta institutional structures are functioning.